Good morning, welcome to the Art Money Talk. My name is Mo. Today's question is Should I exhibit my art in an online gallery? So one day I received this private message on Instagram from an artist. She's very young, she just started her art and she asked me in the message, you know, I was offered a chance to exhibit in a virtual gallery. They asked for a small fee to exhibit. Is it worth a try? So I checked out this company's website. It's pretty empty right now. It's just like a landing page, quite blank, with a demo video in the middle. And that the video is linked to a YouTube channel that had three subscribers. So I imagine it is a new startup company with like maybe just three guys or three girls starting this project together and there's like no one else yet and they just happen to have this you know idea and then they put together this thing. I, I do admire their vision and their motivation to start this project. I think at this moment they are not ready to charge people but I think the idea is good. It looked promising, perhaps they're not ready today but maybe in the future it can turn out to be an interesting project. The idea is you put your artwork in this virtual gallery and you can use a virtual reality glasses like a Google Glass, more or less like that. And you can like work around in this virtual gallery to see the art exhibitions, to see artworks. And it's like a Google street view without street and without Google and without view. I, I don't know, like this is just my understanding from this demo video. You just, you know, see people walking around like looking into nothing with that, you know, black virtual reality glasses. So I asked this artist one question, like what are you going to get out of it? Right? Are you going to get sales? It means you get money. Or are you going to get influence? Or are you going to get traffic? Are you going to get reputation? Like what exactly can you get out of such online exhibition? Obviously, you're not going to meet new people because you, you don't really meet people in this in this online like scenario, especially like you're not there, your art is there and they're just passing through like kind of like, I would imagine even like Google Street View, right? <laughs> they just kind of walk through an empty street with art hanging on it. Ask those questions before you decide to work with them. Number one, online payment method. First of all, the most important thing, can people pay you on this website, on this art exhibition or virtual art gallery or whatever it is? Can people pay you? Because if this website doesn't have any means to collect money, there's no payment method, what's the point of exhibiting it there? Just to feel good, like having your art in the virtual world? It's not really worth it. If they do it for free, maybe fine. But if they charge you, like can you even get the money back by you know, selling your art in such platforms? If PayPal, or Stripe is doing uh, online exhibition or online art fair, I am going because I think at least they're mature in collecting money. At least I'll get paid if I sell something. At the moment I checked, this website doesn't have any payment method. So I would rather use the energy, the money, the time to put my work in a perhaps a local art cafe or in a art and craft market where there is a cashier where I can like collect money by selling my art. Number two, web traffic. You can easily monitor the traffic of such website totally for free online using some online tools such as SimilarWeb. I use it a lot, you know, it's a very handy website. However, you do need to have a reasonable amount of traffic in order to measure, in order for the data to come out. If this website doesn't come into the radar of SimilarWeb, perhaps it's not worth it to pay to show your work. For example, the online marketplace Sachi Art, they have 2 million visits monthly and that's let's say reasonable number of people, number of collectors and out of the 2 million even 1%, even 0.5% of people goes onto your page or your exhibition. You are getting traffic, you are getting attention, you are getting potential customers to visit your portfolio or your personal web. That's a great thing so if they have traffic then take it. If they don't have enough traffic, then I would say leave it because you can use this money to build your own website and gain traffic directly to your own website. So why bother using them? Number three, reputation. Lastly, does this online gallery have certain kind of reputation among industrial professionals? You can just ask around some, you know, uh, art professor, artist friend of yours to see if they have heard of this website, if it's any good, what's their experience. 
And if you want to measure their influence and reputation in a more concrete way, then I suggest you to check out Moz. So Moz is an online tool. You can register and measure it for free. Their domain authority and page authority. Basically, this is the online world to measure reputation, quantifiable. You can you know, come out with a number and you can see how reputed they are, how good they are. And in order to have a really solid domain authority, you do need to have long history, you have to have a solid route, you have to have a good hardware. You can also go to a trust pilot or some other kind of user-generated content website to see what other users are commenting, thinking, are using, or like if they have any trouble using this website, if it's a scam even, so that you can have like a realistic feedback from other users. I would say Sachi Art in this case is also reputed, although they have a legal dispute with the original Sachi Gallery after their collaboration broke off. Although it's not like an art exhibition, but I would say it works more or less the same. Personally, I wouldn't use this particular website to exhibit my art because I think it doesn't have an online payment method, it doesn't have much social media, well, it does raise subscribers on YouTube, I guess. I mean, that's better than none, but it's not worth it if they don't have a good reputation, they don't have much traffic at all, if they are like any, it doesn't even enter data anywhere. Like, unless you log into their admin, you're not even able to see how many visitors they have to their website. So I would say in general, it's not worth it to pay them, also, I think perhaps the virtual reality world is not ready to, you know, for everybody to come in and buy art, you know, it's already difficult to get people to buy art in like art finders such as art and not even mention to add an extra barrier like the hardware of VR glasses. Well, perhaps one day in the startup world there could be a tech company or an art company could emerge from other startup companies and become an industrial leader for online showcasing your art. In the future, maybe you can do something with such companies, but for the moment, I personally wouldn't pay a penny to exhibit my art. Instead, I would invest this money and time into building my own personal website where I can showcase my art, exclusively my art, and I can sell my art, promote my brand, just all in one place, one stop shop for my collectors to get in touch with me, buy my art, and become a fan. So I think that's a better idea. So, what do you think? Would you pay to exhibit your art in such virtual reality online gallery art fair? So let me know how you think and thank you for watching and see you in the next video.